Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 24 and Merry Christmas. Obviously when you're watching this, this is the Christmas day and you're hopefully kind of like enjoying yourself and having a really great Christmas. Um, I've been at work all day today so I've not been able to do much, obviously I've not been able to vlog or anything like that. Um, but I'm back home now to celebrate with my family, I've got a glass of wine and I'm just chilling out for the evening. Um, I probably won't be doing too much this evening because obviously it's the day before Christmas and I need to relax before the mad rush tomorrow. Um, I did want to show you everything that I picked up from TK Maxx, I actually went to TK Maxx today. Um, just to like browse about and have a little look, I did come across a gorgeous Kate Spade bag though which was like £105 and I was so tempted but because I purchased my LA flights um, this month I like literally have no spare money basically so I had to like not purchase it and I know that it's not going to be there next month um, but the few things that I did pick up from TK Maxx were quite interesting I actually went for a Korean style um, nose strip so this is from a company called Piggy Mom and I've heard of this company before um, this is called Soak Soak Nose Pack um, and it looks really interesting. It was only £1.99 um, but it's basically three nose pore strips that you use and it gets rid of your blackheads. So I figured I would give this a go because I suffer really badly with blackheads and I find that UK products don't work that well. Um, and I know Korean products are meant to be amazing for the skin. So I'm going to give that a go and see if it works and does anything for my blackheads or anything. Um, I also picked up this product here which is actually a Slim Sonic The Stylish Toothbrush. So I've heard about these before, this comes in this design here. It was originally £19.99 but it's only £4 from TK Maxx. Um, but I've heard about these before and they're meant to be really, really good electric toothbrushes. Because most electric toothbrushes are quite expensive and they're kind of expensive to replace and things like that. But this one, it was only £4, um, originally £20. So even when it's not on sale, it's still quite affordable. So I just picked up one of those, it's got a replacement head in there and everything. So. Um, I just wanted to give this a go to try out because I've always wanted an electric toothbrush but I just can't afford them. So I'm super duper excited to try that out. Um, I also picked up a makeup item from there from the company that I'm yet to try out before. Um, it's NYX or NYX company and it's this powder blush here so it looks like this. Um, they are originally £5.50 down to £2.99. Um, it's covered up the actual shade of this one so I can't tell you the shade name or number. Um, but it's this really gorgeous kind of like rose uh, tone blusher. Um, so I'm excited to try this out because obviously I've never tried anything from their brand before. Um, and hopefully it'll be good because my blushes at the moment are kind of like, I've had them for a while and they need throwing out. Um, the last product that I picked up is actually a uh, birthday gift because I've got a few birthdays coming up in January. So I picked up a few, um, one uh, birthday gift from TK Maxx. Um, this one I actually picked up because I really like the tin, but it is a tea, and it's from the company Wedgwood, so it's originally £8 down to 3 99 and this one is the English breakfast one, but the tin of this is like super duper cute, so I picked this up just because I really kind of liked it myself, um, she probably will get this, the person that kind of this gift is for, oh it's a Korean company as well, um, but I just really liked this gift, and I wanted it myself so basically picked it up and um, so that's everything I got from TK Maxx obviously I'll vlog anything that happens this afternoon this evening we might be doing fun things kind of for Christmas Eve and um, so if I do do anything fun I will obviously show it for you um, and I'll catch up with you in a bit so I've just taken my makeup off because I'm going to be trying out the um, Piggy Moon uh, Piggy Mom even poor thingies I don't know what they are um, so yeah I'm going to try these out and see what they're like and hopefully they work and hopefully they don't like destroy my skin before Christmas so I'm going to open step one and try that out first um, I believe that, that all the steps um, there is English instructions just in a little box but I believe all the steps are just poor um, strips so I'm going to do step one and see what it's like and then I'll move on to step two which I feel like step one is a prep and then step two is the thing that actually pulls it out and then step three is like a cleaning thing so I'm going to try those now and see what they're like. So this is step one and step one is kind of like applying a face mask to the nose and um, so I've got to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes and then take it off and then pop on step two which I believe is the peel off bit. Um, step one though is extremely kind of like it's got a lot of liquid in the top bit so I'm going to cut that off now before it leaks all over my bed. Um, and then complete step two and step three. Um, but so far it's quite nice. It's quite a nice kind of like cooling mask. Um, 
I'm not sure what it's meant to do or it's meant to be doing anything to the skin right now but I can feel it kind of like soaking in if that makes sense so I'm going to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes and I'll get back to you but just taken off step one of the mask and it has worked really weirdly so I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera but there's like some like little marks on the thing like a little black kind of marks and everything but also my pores have opened up massive on my nose um so I'm going to pop on step two to see what that does um but I'm really intrigued now to see whether it works or not because first I thought it was like a gimmick product but now I'm like really thinking that it's going to actually work quite nicely um so I'm going to pop on step two of the mask and see what that does um but at first like my skin almost felt like it was not blistering but like tightening in a way kind of thing and then when I peeled it off it was like a normal face mask but I could see instantly that it's done something so I'm going to put step two on see what that's like um or got something in my eye um and then I'm going to wait for that and see and peel it off and see what happens as well so I'll catch up with you in a bit so this is step two on and it is very much like your normal peel off um nose uh whatever they're called um strips so I'm going to leave this on for 10 minutes and then I'm going to peel it off and see what happens so I've just taken off the pore strip and I wouldn't say it's worked kind of as well as I thought it was going to do. There's like a little bit of like stuff on there but it's not as much as I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to do step three which I believe is just a cooling kind of strip and I will catch up with you in a bit once it's fully done. So step three is really messy. It's this like gel like strip. I mean it's there to like cool you down and like calm your pores, pores and everything but it's like stupidly messy and really slippy and slimy and horrible so this is step three and this is the last one out of the pack um which it just feels so weird on the skin right now so that is the nose pores done um the last one was like super sticky and horrible though it was really weird um to be honest i don't really like i've got a mirror here and i don't really see a massive difference um i would say the pores have like shrunk a little bit but not like massively basically still a really good product though so i would still recommend it for like a fun little kind of thing to do but not kind of as a proper kind of nose pore strip i could definitely do kind of better ones um in the uk um so yeah that was a really fun little kind of thing to do my nose feels like a little bit better but i've still got pores in there basically um so the rest of this evening i'm just going to be watching youtube videos so i do hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a really great Christmas. Um, if you have enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up. And I have no idea when I'll see you next. I might be vlogging tomorrow, but I might not be, depending on what we're doing. and Because we're just going to be doing family things, obviously. So if not, you'll be seeing me in a chatty video. I don't know when I'm going to be vlogging next. Um, but I will keep you updated. So I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.